How about it? Second Samuel 5. How about from it? From verse 17. Here we go. That's it. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king of Israel, when, yes. that's important, yes. when they heard, they mobilised all their forces to capture him. But David was told they were coming, so he went into the stronghold. The Philistines arrived and spread out across the valley of Rephaim. So David asked the Lord, should I go out to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? And the Lord replied to David, yes, go ahead. I will certainly hand them over to you. So David went to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. The Lord did it, David explained. Mm -hmm. He burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So he named that place Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who bursts through. The Philistines had abandoned their idols there. So David and his men confiscated them. But after a while, the Philistines returned and again spread out across the valley of Rephaim. And again, David asked the Lord what to do. Do not attack them straight on, the Lord replied. Instead, circle around behind and attack them near the poplar trees. When you hear a sound like marching feet in the tops of the poplar trees, be on the alert. That will be the signal that the Lord is moving ahead of you to strike down the Philistine army. So David did what the Lord commanded and he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Giza. Gezir. Gezir. So good. Giza. So good. So good. It's really about strategy again. Mm -hmm. It is. God giving strategy. But then I think what we do as human beings is that we get a strategy from God and then it becomes a religious practice. Religious, (laughs) yeah. So the next time we're up against that same kind of enemy, I will just do the same thing. Right. And then it doesn't work. Yeah. So I think the thing about this is that David kept seeking the Lord yeah. in every situation. He kept going back to the Lord for a word. Yeah, yeah. The word of the Lord for us today is read your Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But things become religious or yeah. even yes. like something that was once powerful. Yeah. Well, let's just yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was powerful because God said to do it. Yeah. Yes. What's he saying to do now? Exactly. Right. Yeah. And I think, like, you know, I've heard of some situations where, you know, maybe in a prophetic moment as well within a meeting, someone has felt to, I don't know, get a sword out or, you know, do something prophetically. <laughs> and in that moment, it brought breakthrough. But now every time we gather, we've got to get have the sword, the sword the of sword victory, yep. you know. And it's like, well, no, unless God says. Right. Yeah. You know, we we just formulate everything. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I think it's dangerous to formulate right. everything. You well, know? it would have been for David. Yeah, yeah, totally would have, would have been. Wouldn't that be crazy? Because God, God's des- moment, God's will for that moment is victory. Yes, but they might not have experienced it. It's like yeah. wow. the way I think of it is the only experience that really matters in our Christian life is the experience that tells us I'm going to go back and see what God says. I'm going to go back and see what God says. I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. Yes. I'm going to look to my past and see the victories to let it yeah. build my faith. Yeah. Yeah. But then I'm going to go up the mountain, get the pattern, yes. go again go with again. that. Keep seeking the Lord. Yeah. Keep asking. Yeah. But then I think it's important for me to say though too is that some people think they get strategies from the Lord that uh-huh. don't line up with the Word. Yeah, Ooh. totally. So this is where it's so important for us to have the Word as this foundation. Yes. You know, like someone saying, yes, you know, God has really um, called me to marry that person, but they're unsaved. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I feel a peace about it. I'm like, but what does the Word say? It goes against the, word. the Word says, don't be unequally yoked. Yep. And so before you plough ahead in that relationship, you've got to seek the Lord but then be open to Him speaking and then that speaking always lines up with the Word of God. This is where we keep safe in hearing from God. We're not... Um, just going, you know, have a peace about that, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, right, right. It, it just, it's just not right, yeah, you yeah. know. Getting the strategy means going before the Lord, but then when He speaks to you, it always lines up with Scripture. Amen, right. So I think that's important too to right. say. Totally. And a different thing there is like right at the start, when they heard that He'd been anointed king, they mm-hmm. mobilised yes. their army. 
And this needs to tell us something. Discernment yes. lights flick on, you know. Yeah. It's like, why am I in this battle? I never yes. asked for this. Right. Yeah. Like there are some things I was thinking about. It. There are some battles that lead to victory that I got myself there. And yet yes. God will turn it around yeah. to still bring about victory. Yeah. And there are yeah. other times I never asked for this. Yeah. Why am I in this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the enemy here, God's, the, the enemy of God's people has deliberately targeted yes. anointing. They mm-hmm. see that there's an anointing. We've got to get yes. this guy. Well, yeah. let's, let's not be surprised when we walk through some of these battles. Mm. Yeah. But we seek God and we get the, should I, how do we defeat this God? Are you going to lead me to victory? Yes, you are, but how? Yeah. Um, but maybe we're anointed. We're, we're, we're playing a bigger part than we realise. Yeah. And like that's good for us all to hear. Hey, well, I'm a significant totally. player in God's kingdom. No yep. wonder the enemy would want to bring this against me. Be encouraged by that, yeah. yep. but encouraged then to seek God and get the victory. Yeah, yep. absolutely. 